before we start working with Git, some simple two configuration need to be done. And it, this configuration will create file.git config. And this is the first git command which you will learn, which you will use only once and you will forget them forever. <laughs> so it's git config dash dash global user dot name. And usually people place here the real uh, name, first and last. So this is what I will do. Next one is git config dash dash global user email this one can be not real does meta really just just do, you don't care for example so it's y y y at x x x x x dot z z z z for example yeah it really doesn't matter a uh, email address here that's all and you can check what this has been configured git config minus l list and this is what is configured you see simple and where it's stored where all this stuff is stored where i am i'm here you see in my current folder ls la and here you can see file dot git config let's show what is in this file you see it's exactly same parameters which we just configured Okay, let's switch to the Windows and show you how to do it on Windows. I'm on my Windows, let's execute the same. git config dash dash global user dot name Dennis Stachov git config dash dash global user email and here really fake email, whatever you want d d d d d VVVVV, for example, a, 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 a doesn't matter really. Okay, done. Let's show it. Git config minus L. You will see a lot, by the way. Right now, you will not see just this. You will see a lot of the configuration. You see it's some stuff here, but it, because it's Windows, it's just configuring some uh, a lot of the other stuff. But here are two lines which we just added. But it's not one config file because I can show you. So I'm in uh, my C users ADV, it's my f uh, home folder, dear. And here we shall see git config. See this file, let's type it. Basically just show it, git config. So you see the file exactly same as on Linux, basically it's only two variables. All these details, it's from another configuration file, doesn't matter where is it, uh, just we don't care. That's all, that's all, we configure it whatever we need. Now git, when we execute git commands, we'll know to basically to put in the logs that it's Dennis Stachov did these changes. And we're good to go. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.